today I'll be comparing the Raiders axe with the aspect of the end. When the game first came out, the aspect of the end was the go-to weapon, but now the Raiders axe came in. So some people have still gone to the aspect of the end, and some people have gone to the Raiders axe. One may seem better, but there will be multiple game-changing surprises that will make one shine over the other. So which one is really better? Well, let's find that out today. So first, we have to find out how much it costs to actually get the swords or axes. The aspect of the end requires 10,240 ender pearls, 2,040 blaze powder, and 160 diamonds. To unlock the recipe, you need 25,000 ender pearls. So you can sell most of the ender pearls and maybe craft a few things. The sale price of all the resources needed to obtain it is 112,000 coins, so a good price for it is 168,000 coins for the aspect of the end. The aspect of the end can also teleport you forward 8 blocks and give you plus 50 speed for 3 seconds. While you later progress into the game, the sword will become useless, but the ability will be useful forever because there's no ability like this. The Raider's Axe costs 130,000 coins from the Joyful Viking. But before you go though, make sure you have 150 mana, which a lot of people have, a magic water bucket, a fish hat, and a fish. You also have to be wearing the fish hat, so the fish hat requires 5 fish, but you need 20 raw fish to like obtain the recipe. The magical water budget costs 1 enchanted ice and 3 iron ingots. It's usually easiest to buy one off the auction for 2,000 coins each. So go to the melancholic viking inside the spruce woods at negative 359-91-76. Right click him to start the quest. Use the magical water budget to extinguish the fire in the cabin. Right click the furnace with a raw fish, wear the fish out and crouch 15 times. He will become a joyful viking and you can buy a raider's axe from him for 130,000 coins. Adding the trouble it took to get it, I think a good price for it would be 140,000 coins. The raider's axe gives you 20 coins per mob kill that's above level 10. The aspect of the end costs more, but only by 28,000 coins, or 20%. X is your sword's damage, Y is your strength, A is your crit damage, B is your crit chance. The damage formula is X plus Y divided by 5, multiplied by 1 plus Y divided by 100, multiplied by 1 plus A divided by 100, multiplied by B divided by 100, plus X plus Y divided by 5, multiplied by 1 plus Y divided by 100, multiplied by 1 minus B divided by 100. So if your crit damage is 150, you input 150 into A. I'm just using base stats in this. Some people have a lot more crit damage than regular, and some people have a lot more strength than regular. Although these numbers aren't close to what you are doing, it won't be fair if I do calculations for people who have a lot of strength or crit damage, since I'll leave a whole group out. This will be right in the middle. Now let's compare the damage. The aspect of the end does 270 damage, and the Raider's Axe does 152 damage. So you might have decided to go for the aspect of the end, but not so quickly. With 4 to 6 hours of killing mobs and breaking wood, the Raider's Axe will be much stronger. You should use a fully enchanted gold axe or fully enchanted jungle axe. The jungle axe is wood, but it can break up to 10 logs at once, and there's a cooldown of 2 seconds. You can buy jungle axes at the auction house for around 10,000 coins. You can use the raider's axe to kill mobs that are above level 10. So get 20 coins each mob kill, and level up your axe. Now the tables have turned, since the raider's axe does 115 damage and 150 strength. The aspect of the end still does 270 damage, but the Raider's Axe does 408 damage. So you might have decided to go for the Raider's Axe, but not so quickly. If you get a strong Dragon Armor later on, which will cost 4 to 6 million coins, it can do a ton of damage, and you should definitely go for strong Dragon Armor. But it may be hard to get an Aspect of the Dragons, which costs 6 million coins. The Aspect of the End can kill you though. What? Well, the thing is, the strong dragon armor adds 75 damage to the aspect of the end, 
making it have 175 damage and 100 strength. This is the final showdown, which will do more damage. The aspect of the end does 439 damage, while the sad raider's axe only does 408 damage. Conclusions. The Raider's Axe is definitely the better mid-game weapon since you can easily make the Raider's Axe almost do 2 times more damage than the Aspect of the End. But the Aspect of the End will become more useful later on. It is completely your choice. Personally, I'd go for the Raider's Axe first but get an Aspect of the End before I get any other weapon since the teleportation and the damage later on will help you more. Okay, so thank you for watching my video. I hope you know now whether to go for the Raider's Axe or the Aspect of the End to carry yourself from early game to mid game. So please like and subscribe and bye!